Hi there, my name is Eli, and welcome back to my channel, Jack Elijah. And today I have a very exciting video. I have been looking forward to this, and we have two new dolls to unbox, and they are the new core refresh dolls from Monster High Generation 3. And not only are we going to be taking a look at these dolls, but we're actually going to be doing a showdown, a versus, between the original core dolls. So if you don't know, Monster High, when they first released some odd year ago for Generation 3, had these core dolls for a lot of the main characters. We had Draculaura, Laguna, Claudine, Frankie, Horlai, Gulia, Deuce, Cleo. Um, and since then, we've gotten some additional core dolls like Abby and Claude. And yeah, these are basically like the bread and butter of Monster High. Kind of like, you know, their school looks, if you will. And then Monster High will do like special themed lines. I also have Claudine here. And the theme lines will maybe be like Monster Ball, like a, like a high school dance kind of vibe, or Creepover, like a sleepover moment. Or, you know, we've been getting a lot of Skulls and Secrets, which are very like themed fashion type sort of lines. But the core series is sort of, yeah, like I said, the bread and butter, like what the doll's default outfit sort of look like. And the idea behind a core refresh is, you know, these dolls have been out for almost over a year. And so you kind of want to freshen them up a little bit and make the shelves exciting and new. So these dolls are going to start getting slated out. And then these dolls are going to be replacing them as the new offering. Because as a brand, Monster High always wants to make sure that you can at least find the, you know, the main five on shelves being Draculaura, Claudine, Frankie, Cleo, and Laguna. So they're not going to phase this doll out of the shelves and then just not come up with something new for you to be able to purchase you know they want you to be able to purchase like the default sort of core school setting claudine doll or jackie laura doll or whoever basically so that's the thought process behind a core refresh and so far we only have claudine and jackie laura but literally like just today slash last night there were lots and lots and lots of leaks so we have now seen peaks at the core refresh for cleo laguna and frankie as well as the new core dolls for Spectra, Venus, Caddy, lots and lots of leaks, which I don't necessarily condone because I know, like, you know, Mattel designers don't like it. But, like, as a fan, like, obviously I want to see the new dolls. So I'm conflicted on it. But yeah, I'm not going to show any pictures of those because, like, I don't know, just for legal reasons, you know? But yeah, enough chit chat. I'm going to crack into these and do an inbox comparison. Then we'll do an out of box comparison and see who comes out on top. Okay, let me show you real quick what the dolls look like in box. So the boxes are relatively similar. They have the same box shape, the artwork on the corner, except now instead of featuring like a grouping of the characters, it just features the character solo. And the artist and art style has also changed. The new artwork is featured right here. It is done by an artist, Darko Dark. He does a lot of doll artwork for Monster High and other doll brands. But yeah, there you can see the dolls in box. And then let's see what the backs look like. Okay, so you get a full body shot of the character. In this, in this case, it's Draculaura. Except on the initial core dolls, there was also a little group of more of the ghouls hanging out in the back. Whereas we do not get that anymore. And then, of course, you get a little write-up for the character. So you get their monster type, monster must-haves, monster pet, and then you also get it featured in some other languages. So that is consistent. Another thing to note is that my new core dolls, Dracula and Claudine, are both made in Indonesia. And then for these core dolls, there were China variants and Indonesia variants. So this Dracula I have is one of the China variants. But yeah, we'll see if something like that emerges for these new core dolls, the core refresh. It was a weird phenomenon that happened with just the main three core dolls, Draculaura, Frankie, and Claudine. And I prefer the China variant of Draculaura. So, yeah. But yeah, there is Draculaura. Now let's see what Claudine's all about. Okay, also something to note, I ordered this Claudine off of Amazon and I got the Saran variant. So this doll was initially released with polypropylene hair, and just in this past month or so, people have been finding her with saran hair, which is a much nicer, high-quality hair fiber. 
So even though she's been out for like well over a year, she feels new to me and I'm very excited to crack into her as well. And yeah, these all retail for $24.99, but because this first wave has been out for well over a year, you can find them on sale most places for around $16. But yeah, I got these new core refresh dolls off Amazon for $24.99 and they'll probably show up at other places like Walmart and Target and, you know, maybe Macy's soon enough, like who knows. But yeah. Here is what the inbox comparison looks like. Yeah, I think they, they look good in box. So now let's crack into them and see what they have to offer when they are all unboxed. Okay, I have the dolls all unboxed and I am so excited to take a look at them. And for sake of differentiating the two of them, I'm going to refer uh, to the first ones as core classic dolls and then the new ones as core refresh, just so I'm not having to say, you know, this Claudine, that Claudine, and it gets very confusing. <laughs> so we have our core classic and our core refresh. So hopefully that is easy to follow. We shall see. But yeah, we're going to start comparing and contrasting the old versus new. And we'll start off with Claudine because even though she is old, she is still kind of new because of this beautiful, gorgeous Saran hair. So all of these dolls are exactly as they come out of the box. I have not washed condition style of the hair. This is what it looks like out of the box. It is curly saran, so you know, it's kind of got a little bit of a messiness to it, but it's so much nicer than her poly hair, y'all. I'm so happy. Look how pretty she is. Wow. The little hair bun is a little messed up, but I think a great place to start when we are comparing these two would be the face. Doll faces are some of the most important parts of a doll. Oop, her purse fell. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like my core refresh is a little misprinted. I feel like her right eye is just a little bit too far to the right, <laughs> but I still like her. I still think she's really pretty. But here is a facial comparison. The core refresh doll on the right has a lot darker makeup. You can see it in the lips compared to these lips over here on the core classic doll are a little bit more of like a bronzy gold kind of mauve color. I do like the dark purple though. They look good on Claudine. And then the eye makeup is totally different. So the core classic doll on the left has a really nice light sky blue liner that fades out into some purple eyeshadow. And our new core refresh doll has a kind of lighter purple liner that fades out into a dark purple and then gold sort of smokes out. I love the gold. I don't know, purple and gold is such a good color combo, so I think it looks really good. And then the freckles look relatively similar. The edges look a lot thicker on this core refresh doll, but they don't align with her side part, so that's a little interesting. And then as far as hairstyles go, the core classic Claudine has this little fan bun moment with a piece of hair that comes out of it. And then it's just curly all the way down. Really pretty. And then the core refresh Claudine has almost like this twist crown that ties in the back. It's so pretty. And obviously right off the bat, a big difference between these two Claudines is going to be the hair color blend. So on the left, the core classic Claudine is the color we've seen on most of all of the G3 Claudines. The only time we really haven't seen this color blend was on the Monster Ball. And actually, this color blend, this darker brown color blend, is a lot similar to Monster Ball. Down to the pinks and purples even that are in it. So you can see it's like a nice, rich chocolate brown with some pinks and purples throughout. This is a very hard color to describe on this core classic doll. It is a silvery lavender light brown but it's really pretty i really like it and it is so much nicer to have it in saran i'll say and then fashion obviously claudine has a lot of fashion elements like fur animal print moon phases like the moon and stars those are a lot of design motifs that claudine gets featured in wearing a lot but it works for her right she's a werewolf so it makes sense Right off the bat, the fashion is very different. On the left, she's rocking some overalls with a long sleeve, is that like a zebra print shirt? And then you can see on her overalls, they have some leopard print with a wolf howling in the middle with the moon cycle. And then the moon phases are also on her belt. And then she has some black socks with 
these really cool purple, almost like sneakers. She's very sporty. Claudine's always been a little bit more on the sporty side, but still fashion. And then our core refresh, I need to drop this one so I can show you underneath her jacket. Our core refresh has this kind of Letterman varsity jacket. These little patches are just not like stickers, kind of like, mm, I don't even know if I call that screen printing. I don't know what they are, but there they are. We have an MH for Monster High, a moon, a paw print, and a heart. But they have these huge furry sleeves, which definitely create an interesting silhouette. I wonder how easy they are to bend if you bend her arms. Okay, so fabric is pretty flexible. You know, you can still move the arms inside there, as you saw. Underneath this jacket, however, she has a little cropped t-shirt, sleeveless t-shirt with some claw marks on it. And then she comes with one necklace, whereas the Core Classic doll had two. Then she does have a belt as well. Put some holes right there. A lot of people do not like these capris. I kind of like them. I think they're cute. And they are in a various shades of purple with some like leopard print. And then her shoes, are like a chunky booty interesting they could use some paint detail like you could definitely see these moons and these studs if those are painted gold they would bring out some nice detail on these boots but for what they are they're not bad there's like a claw mark on the heel some more studs on the heel and then on the bottom of the the shoe is that like some more claw marks i like this color of blue like they're doing something different with claudine's color scheme for the core refresh doll and i appreciate it i don't think it's perfectly executed like the blue shows up in the backpack and the shoes and some of the accessories i wish it showed up just a little bit more but i think the claudines look really good i really love both of them it's going to be hard for me to pick which one i like better let's compare their bags so i will have to say right off the bat here is the core classic bag claudine was so weird because she's like the only one who had like a purse whereas all of the other ghouls got like backpacks but I actually kind of loved her for that because it kind of made her, you know, the fashion girl. Because this purse is so cute. I love Claudine's bag. Versus the Core Refresh doll has this backpack. It's like a translucent purple plastic with the moon cycles, a little keychain, lots of studs, and the straps are even like chains. It's okay. I don't know. It's just not very glamour, you know? It's very realistic for like something someone today would probably wear it to school as a backpack but I kind of liked the ridiculousness of Claudine having like an actual purse before that she would bring to school I kind of like that just a tad bit more and then oh my god let me show the earrings the earrings are also different so obviously Claudine's a werewolf so she has some wolf ears and then on the core classic doll you can see like a studded hoop with some crescent moons here we have a similar studded hoop but this time in gold instead of black and then this earring's pretty interesting it's like a crescent moon with a wolf howling in the middle i like that they're gold it's nice ties into the makeup but yeah here they are now let's compare some of the accessories real quick they come with a lot of accessories for the core refresh doll we'll compare the crescents first this new crescent is so cute like the howl oh my gosh i can't focus on them but they are very precious. I like this new crescent, I will say. Um, I'm not like obsessed with the pets, you know, like I've mentioned this before. I'm not like buying these sets for the pets, but they're cool. Oh yeah, let's try putting the glasses on. So, oops, dropped a little fur vest. They both come with glasses, but they're not like uh, sunglasses. They're more so like, <laughs> I don't know what the right term, like prescription glasses, like reading glasses maybe but I like that they don't have lenses. You can see the makeup still nicely underneath. And then here is the core refresh glasses. Claudine has a little, like, since she has, you know, wolf ears, she just has these little fur tufts that act like ears so they can still wear glasses. You know, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it does make sense because the doll, they need to wear glasses somehow so they don't fall off. The new mold is a lot thinner in frame and they are really cute. I do like Claudine with glasses. She looks gorgeous. Okay, so now you can see them both with their glasses on. I do think I like the new glasses mold better. These were just a little too chunky. Like, the frames were so, so thick. And then we'll go over just all of the accessories real quick that they come with. So the Core Classic Claudine comes with... We've seen these before. Hal Puffs. 
We have, oh my god, it's like a blue moon biscuit or something like that. I don't know. They, they always talk about this snack, but I forget what it is. I think it's like a cookie, maybe. And then she comes with a comb, presumably maybe for like her edges. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. It's in the crescent moon. And then one of the best accessories that the core classic dolls come with is the eye coffin, which the core refresh dolls do not come with. I love the eye coffins. They're so cute. And the little like phone case mold that is unique to each character is really, really nice. So yeah, now let's see the accessories that the core refresh Claudine comes with. I actually kind of love some of these accessories. Like, okay, she comes with a brush too. Does have some paint detail. And oh, I'm not, want it's not focusing. I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. You can see there's actually like little, <laughs> that's like a little doll brush. It's really cute. Um, my favorite accessory is this stupid little <laughs> sandwich in like a plastic bag. I love this. this. I feel like the designers definitely probably love this piece too because it is just so unique. Something you don't see every day from a doll brand. And then the little burnt marks make the shape of a moon. So maybe she has like a special toaster for that. And then she comes with, what is this? A Howl energy bar. Pretty basic, but I do like that it gives you a little hole. So if you want to have Claudine hold it, you can. This is like a journal. How does this open? Oh my gosh, this seems so hard to open. Let me do it off camera. I'm struggling. Does it open? Do you have to move that thing? Okay, y'all, I cannot open this. <laughs> No, I'm not kidding. Like, for real, I cannot open it. Okay, I don't know what's in there. I'm really struggling to open it. I don't know why, but it's like a journal. I'm sure there's something inside of it, which I cannot show you. I'm sorry. And then a huge water bottle, which I feel like is on trend. It's very similar to the Scared Ice Island water bottle. So, yeah. But that is everything these Claudines come with. So you can see all of the differences between our core classic Claudine and our core refresh Claudine. I have to say. I feel like Claudine got a really bad rep when G3 started because of the polypropylene hair. But now that we are getting some Saran variants and the Core Refresh doll just has Saran right out the gates, I feel like hopefully people will start to appreciate Claudine a lot more. I have grown to love Claudine in G3. And yeah, I think these are both really solid dolls. It's gonna be very hard for me to pick a favorite. And then a character who has really never had a bad rep, we have Draculaura. She's kind of been beloved right out of the gate. And I wasn't really around for all of G1 to like know what the like general consensus is on popularity. And from what it seems, it feels like Dracula has gained massive popularity in G3 compared to G1. So if you were around during G1, sound off in the comments below and let me know if that's true or not. But yeah, let's get into Miss Draculaura. I love her. Her core classic doll one of the best like still like fresh out of the box still stunning still gorgeous love the v-bangs she has a little headband earrings this is a lot too she's got this undershirt that is this nice pink kind of like tool fabric then a corset that goes over it that has this bow attached to the corset and then a necklace as well and then even underneath here you can see this black bow covers it but it's a collared shirt underneath. Like, they didn't have to add that little collar detail, but it definitely, definitely adds to it. And this is very, like, clueless inspired. If you if you know, you know. So, love the fashion reference. Her bag is gorgeous. She gets cute little shorts with hearts with little fangs. So precious. And then she doesn't have tights, like full-blown tights. She actually has, like, stockings, like socks. They're so cute little extra material there to add some frilly girliness and then her shoes come like with elastics so they don't fall off but I find you can cut these elastics and the shoes don't fall off anyways so her shoes always kind of remind me of like the Simpsons like the design is so simple it just gives very much like animated cartoon for whatever reason but yeah an amazing 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 doll still one of the best dolls a year later but we now have this new core refresh Draculaura who I am not so sure how I feel about but let's compare the makeup and see what we're rocking okay oh I love the dark lips very dark kind of like maroon lip for this core refresh doll almost like maroon almost brown even very very vampy and nice 
whereas our core classic draculaura was just rocking this like salmony pink for like every doll release i kid you not and we finally got this really cool witch's hat for draculaura i feel like one thing i do have to i do have to say that i like between the classic and the refresh is i feel like you can see draculaura came to monster high and like you know you could probably like imagine she didn't want to let everyone know she was a witch and then like when she returns for like the next semester or the next year she's fully like yeah i'm a witch what of it you know like the little witch's hat the little vampire makeup like kind of like that storyline so pretty cool but yeah eye makeup let's see what's different the makeup on the new refresh doll is gorgeous like this very striking neon pink liner with some gray as well and then some pink under eye which do we have pink yeah this is mainly just pink all around so and it's kind of one monochromatic shade for the core classic doll i do have to say i really like the core refresh makeup it's really nice i think that's my favorite part i do have to like straighten mine <laughs> her bangs are very uneven but i can i can fix that and then she both they both have a split die so i'm glad they kept the split die except the core refresh doll has a complete middle part all the way down let me show you because let me take this hat off so the hat just comes on and off pretty easy and you can see it is a full middle part all the way in the back i feel like it's probably supposed to be you know completely separated by pink and black but sometimes i'm sure there's small errors when they're getting packaged up so i can fix that later on my own time but yeah and then they are kind of a low pigtail, so she has room for the hat. But I love it. I love this hairstyle. You know, I still like Draculaura with very big, dramatic pigtails, but these are cute too. And then this Draculaura just had a simple split dye with hair down. No really, you know, complex hairstyle, but I love the V-bang shape. I do have to say, I am a huge fan of these V-bangs, but... I get it it's time to move on we need to come up with something new and then they're similar in style with their earrings where it's keeping on theme with the split dye and one black and one pink the core classic has little hearts with bat wings and i love the core refresh their coffins with a heart cut out in the middle love these earrings both earrings are great i'll have to say and then outfit wise we are getting a lot of like shiny vinyl pleathery you know material for our new draculaura over here i don't know how i feel about that because it's not my favorite material um you know it can peel over time but hmm, it's fine i guess i just there's something about the core classic draculaura that i love i love this look but even the shades of pink are a little different you can see the core refresh doll the pink vinyl is like very very hot pink i love the um leggings so nice that they go all the way up let me show you okay so there is a crotch catch you can see there's like a black ribbon right there so it can keep the skirt in place and then yeah look at they go all the way up oopsie dropped the hat and then probably just velcros in the back let's see yep and then you can see there's where the tights go so it's very nice i know for restyling like dracula is already a great doll to buy if you want to restyle some other dolls but these tights on any draculaura i'm sure would just elevate a look and then let's compare the shoes Ooh, this is tough i don't know which one i like better i feel like the core refresh draculaura got a little bit more painty tail than claudine did though the little heart buckle is so cute even the heels have a lot of nice molding yeah it's gonna go to the core refresh doll these shoes are very nice the mold is gorgeous but i still think there's something simple and classic about these little heels right here so even though i think they're an inferior design there's something about them that is still very charming but yeah these are the two draculauras now let's look at their bags obviously the left the heart-shaped bag just is superior we have the black painted wings like the quilt kind of molding right there is so stunning and this got made into a real life backpack you can buy it at hot topic so i mean come on that goes that just says like obviously this bag is amazing if they're gonna make it in real life because i don't think we'll ever see this bag <laughs> made in real life it's just kind of ugly and chunky it's not my favorite but it's fine you know 
how are you going to go do better than this? Like, this is a big bag to follow up on, so I'm not mad at it. And I don't really style Draculaura in this little capelet ever. It's fine. It's not my favorite piece, but, like, I've never used it on my Draculauras just because I don't really like it. If you like it, that's cool, but I usually stray away from it, so. And then we can look at the accessories for Draculaura. So our little Count Fabulous is, is, is. He is now like full-blown cat hybrid looking thing. Is it a he or a she? I think it's a he or is it a she? I don't know. Up to you. But yeah, they're cute. I like Draculaura's pet. I think it's like a familiar rather than like a vampire bat. So very witchy and makes sense. And then they have some sunglasses, whereas those dolls have like actual glasses. Draculaura has sunglasses. And on the right is the core refresh. On the left is the core classic. And we got these in like so many dolls. I'm so tired of seeing this mold. So I'm ha so happy we have a new sunglass mold for Draculaura. These little bat wing glasses are so cute and they seem very like in vogue like i feel like i see people wear these now so very cute and you know what let's just put them on since i put on claudine's glasses why not right how easy is this where's it gonna go because <laughs> dracula's headband is tea tied oh they're pretty cute very chunky but still cute i already just know i'm gonna like these ones better though and then an amazing feature of Draculaura are these gorgeous pointed ears. One of my favorite monster features of her. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to do this with the hat on, so it's a little challenging. Um, yeah, let's just kind of put them. Oh, they're taking it. Yeah, that's the look right there. Oh, oh yeah. With the glasses, I'd actually like really. Oh, I see the vision. I see the light. She's stunning. Okay, this is going to be really hard because I'll be honest, for Draculaura, I was leaning a little bit more towards her core classic doll, but the refresh is kind of doing it for me. She is. She is really good. <laughs> She's really good. Okay, now let's look at the accessories, the other accessories. So the core classic comes with some cherry juice. Huge. It looks like a Slurpee almost. I do like it. She comes with a little pretzel that's been animated to life with some little eyeballs and then just kind of sticks in the little sheath, the little napkin. You can hold it as well. And then we always see this accessory, SPF 500, since she's a vampire. And yeah, and then one of the best accessories, the eye coffin. Love, love, love these little cell phones. They're just so cute when your dolls hold them. And then for our new core refresh, Draculaura, she has some amazing accessories. Like right off the bat, look at this bento box. Like a little winking count fabulous and then the lid is actually removable and you have a, her little lunch like little bat sandwiches maybe that's like a little brownie i don't even know but it is precious it is adorable this is an amazing accessory this and the sandwich oh so nice i don't know why i love those accessories so much and i'm normally not someone who's like you know gobsmacked or like smitten over an accessory i'm usually you know, like oh it's an accessory it's cool it's fine but like those two those two are amazing. And then Dracula also has a journal. Hers opens a lot easier than Claudine's. And, ooh, some spells, some ma monster magic, and her name signed in the middle. Love that. Very cool accessory. I do like the book accessories. And then she also gets SPF 500, but hers is in purple. A lot cuter than the yellow, I will say. And then this looks like a little lip gloss with some lips and fangs and a little hole so she can carry it. Love that. And then she also gets a drink. I think her drink is a lot cuter than Claudine's. It's like a little cup with a vampire bat cup warmer. Is that what that's called? And then I'm sure this comes out. Oh yeah, it does. It takes the whole drink with it. And she can also hold it right there, as you can see. So amazing. I love this drink. So I feel like the core refresh Draculaura's accessories are just top tier top top tier but yeah that is all of the accessories for Draculaura and I think we compared most of her fashion and her accessories as well and it's hard to say now that I've looked through all of them which ones I like more I'm really stumped because all the four of these dolls are stunning I think for Claudine I'm gonna say Ooh, 
this is going to be controversial, but I want to say the classic. I don't know. I like the, the classic Claudine still. I like this one as well, but the silhouette of this like furry varsity jacket is just very tough to deal with. And I feel like without the jacket, like let's show you what it looks like without the jacket. I feel like without the jacket, the silhouette's just a little too plain. So I could be wrong. Like maybe it's a gorgeous silhouette, but I don't know. It's like, it's a weird piece. Like it's not bad, but it's not my favorite either. Let's see, I have to take this hand off too. <laughs> Oh yeah, also yeah, you have to take the hands off. Okay. No, it's still kind of cute, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's gonna look a lot better without the jacket and, I mean a lot worse and she actually looks great. Well, I'm gonna stand by my answer and still stick with the core classic Claudine. I do like this Claudine, um, but I think I like the other one better. I don't know why. These shoes are nice, I do like these shoes. The color story on this Claudine is a little strange, I'll say, but I like the dark lip. But I love the hair blend of this Claudine right here, like that kind of like silvery purple hair blend. I don't know why, especially now that we have it in Saran, like I'm just obsessed with it. So, and I know a lot of people don't like the Capris. I don't hate them, but I'm not also like obsessed. They're just, they're, they're whatever, but yeah. Sorry, Claudine. Well, you know, this Claudine. And then for Draculaura, okay, it's gonna have to be the classic Draculaura. She's still just so strong. I just think she holds up so well. Like the outfit is perfect. I don't love the glasses. Like we can take these glasses off of her. <laughs> but yeah, her bag is great. I love the V-Bangs, like solid, solid doll. But that's not to say that this doll's bad. I think she's great. I love the vampire, like witchier vibe she has. I just don't love her bag. The bag's not great. Oh, and then another thing I didn't mention, but I think it is totally worth mentioning, is this is one piece. Her top is one piece. Like the sleeves and this little crop pink vinyl shirt are attached. So I just wish they were separate for like styling potential because this Dracula has separate pieces and it makes styling her really fun. And maybe if these were separate I would have liked it just a tad bit more but I do like the silhouette they create like you can see they're kind of bunched up at the elbow right there like it is a gorgeous piece nonetheless but this fabric is just really prone to like aging really bad with time so yeah and we keep seeing it in g3 like we've seen a lot of it so I would prefer for us to start seeing something different from this kind of vinyl -y fabric and then I also think this white <laughs> material underneath is just like ugly like this should have been lace if this was lace and this was separate I might feel just a tad bit different about this Draculaura but like the glasses the hat are amazing the earrings are amazing like she's still stunning um so really these are all great dolls it's really hard to pick which one's better than the other one but just goes to show like it all comes down to taste so my personal taste may differ from yours you may prefer her to the classic and you may prefer the the core refresh to the classic like who knows i don't know but yeah thanks for hanging out with me today i am so excited that i got these dolls in my collection i'm gonna off camera probably on another day <laughs> take care of their hair because they have box hair but all things considered i think they're amazing dolls i love seeing the evolution from like one year later to like what the designers gave us and i hope we see more of this like i don't know how long monster high will go if we'll get a year a year three a year four and keep seeing like new iterations of their outfits but i think it's a really fun concept and i don't think we're gonna get it for like some of the side characters like torlai and like gulia and like deuce and stuff so that does make me sad because i think it's a really fun concept to kind of reimagine a doll you know so let me know what you think below and okay before i sign off i just want to say it a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me. I cannot believe I have hit a thousand subscribers. It is very surreal. And I really only do this because I genuinely love fashion dolls. I love Monster High, Rainbow High, Bratz, all of these doll brands. And so to be able to come on here and just like share videos from my bedroom and have people actually want to tune in and listen, it feels very good. So just want to say thank you to everyone. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway in today's video. So it's going to be a very you know, 
simple giveaway. Just comment down below who your favorite Monster High character is, and I will pick 25 people. I will do a random drawing in a future video, and to those 25 people, I will make you little friendship bracelets. So I'm a Taylor Swift fan, and my partner helps make me little Monster High bracelets. <laughs> As you can see, I have a Frankie, a Draculaura. I have a Laguna one right here as some examples. And I think they're super cute. And I love to rep my like ghoul spirit outside the house when I'm like, here's this one's ghoulia. Yeah. Um, you know, when I'm like <laughs> going to target runs and shit like that. So I think it'd be fun for me to make some of these for you guys who have tuned in and supported me. And I feel like it's a little bit more intimate than just like a doll giveaway, you know? So yeah. Comment down below who your favorite Monster High character is, and I will pick 25 people. I feel like 25 is a good amount, right? Yeah, 25 is a good amount. And then I will reach out to you um, if you've won and get your shipping information so I can make and send you out little friendship bracelets. Yeah, I'm going to make them individually. So I'm not going to just like send you a random character. Whoever you say is your favorite is the bracelet I'll send you. So yeah, hopefully that's cool to y'all. I think it's cool to me. It's a little bit more personal, and I wanted to just give my thanks to y'all. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. My name is Eli, and this is my channel, Jack Elijah, and I will see you next time. Bye!